Welcome back. This is your quick reference guide to adding content or editing content inside of the terminal. So we've covered how to navigate in your terminal. We've covered how to create files, delete them, move them around, create directories, all that good stuff. If you need a refresher, go ahead and check out the videos at the end of this video. And we'll continue on by going into these files that we've created and actually adding content to them. So it's not just a blank text file that we've made. So first of all, just to reorient ourselves, we've got nothing in this folder that I'm in. So I'm going to, let's create a test.txt file. And now we can see we've got it there. So what I'm gonna do, clear the screen, is now I want to actually make this you know, have some content because it's kind of pointless to have all these empty files. And uh, as you can see, there is literally nothing in this file that we just created. So let's change that. What we're going to do is we're going to go into an editor, which is inside of the terminal. So there's actually a couple of different kinds of editors. My favorite, and I think the simplest for beginners to use is nano. So what we're going to do is type nano and then we type in the file name that we want to edit. So that is our test.txt. Again, I'm hitting tab to autocomplete. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now we can see we've got uh, kind of a new screen here. This is actually our editor. It's kind of like a word processor for super nerdy people. <laughs> and, and I will totally own that. So let's type some stuff in here. And when we're ready to go, we've got some content in here. We're actually going to use these. This is our little key guide of, of our commands. So um, we've, got, uh, we've got a couple of commands that are available to us. We don't really need a lot of these because we only have one line in our file. So we're just going to say exit because we're done here. So what I'm going to do is hit the uh, control X. And by doing that, it's going, it's saying, do you want to save? Um, and then you can say Y or N for yes and no. And of course, control C will cancel that. So we're going to type Y for yes, because we want to save this now. And the last thing that we have to do is now it's asking us for the file name right here. And we want it to stay the same. We want to just edit this file. So I'm going to hit enter. So now, if we take a look, we still have this test.txt, but if we look in here in the finder, we can now see it's got that text that I've that I put in there from the nano editor, which is really cool. So this is also really helpful if you want to quickly find out what's inside the, the content of a file while you're maybe you're browsing. Let's say we just decide to go up a folder and we notice that we've got this file in second test text file and we want to know what what is that so the the way that we preview that inside of the terminal is again just going nano file name and then we're going to hit enter and now we can see oh, okay there's some important information here so then we just hit option x to get out of it um, if we we didn't make any changes so we don't have to go through those options for um, saving it and adding a file name the other thing that we can do is we can totally just edit files right in there as we've already seen, but maybe we want to create a new file from that file that we've already been into. So let's go back in. I'm going to hit up the up arrow to cycle through the commands that I've used uh, just so that I can go straight back into that file in second.txt. Now we can see that um, important info is here. Um, I actually need to add, uh, here's my telephone number right there. So um, this is gonna be a copy of this file though. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna say, again, we're gonna go Control X, and then I do want to save changes. So I'm gonna hit Y. And now I want to actually change this, uh, this file name here. So I'm, uh, it's hard to see because the cursor uh, is, isn't showing in this particular format. So if you hit um, the backspace, 
you can actually see it's removing the file extension. So I'm going to hurry and change that to uh, modified.txt. And now I'm going to say enter. And I do want to save this under a different name. So yes. And now if we list out what we've got, um, we can see here's the original file and here is our modified file and if we want to check that in the finder just to be safe we can see here's our original file it's got the important info here and then here's where I came in and added that telephone number so I hope you've enjoyed this quick reference series on the command line, how to move around, how to create files, how to move them, how to remove them, how to create new folders, how to actually edit content straight in the terminal. So go out, practice this so you can get as good with the terminal as you can with messing around in the file finder. And uh, we'll see you around on the next video. Keep making great tools.